Hello everybody, Christine Lykev here, and today I'm going to show you how to access our progress reports um, from the shared folder in Google Drive. So you must open um, a new window in Google Drive, and then down the side you need to collect, um, select the shared with me section because that's where our non-public folder is located. Um, mine is typically all the way at the bottom. Uh, depends on where it shows up in your drive. So you'll click that first. And then at the top, um, I have the non-public uh, math progress report and the reading progress report. Both are Google Docs, and again, we talked about this. If we look along the side here, you can see what the document um, file is saved as, and these blue blocks indicate that they are a Google Doc, whereas the Ws will indicate that they are Microsoft Word documents. So both should be saved in this folder as a Google document, but also they are located down the line here as a, um, here would be the other one, a Microsoft Word document. So you can kind of um, decide what you would like to use this time. Um, I believe, though, eventually we will be um, moving away from the Word documents. So I'll show you both ways um, to work with them. I'll show you them. Here, um, as Google Docs are already created, and I'll show you also how to um, convert it from a Word document into a Google Doc, but we'll start with the Google Docs. So you'll click on these, um, we'll start with the math. And now these are shared with you to view. So um, Paige and I are going to play around with how to view and how to edit, because I think everybody will have to have editing rights in order to actually download and use the document. Um, currently, right now, this is our original document. And if you have editing rights, you're able to go in and actually alter this document. We do not want you to do that. So in order to get a fresh um, copy of this, you will go to File make a copy and it says copy document enter a new document name and this is where I would rename it as like original progress report and then reading okay so whatever you decide to name it it'll go then into your drive you do not need to worry about sharing with anybody so don't um, check this box so hit OK a new tab should pop up and then you can see in the file name that it is my new document. So this is a fresh, clean copy. So I can do whatever I need to do to this copy, fill in the, the um, sections. Now, the difference between a Google Doc and a Word Doc, um, when we click on these, they don't actually check off like the Word documents were. So what I did was I just deleted it, or I backspaced, and then I just put an X in each one of the columns where the, the children were located. Um, if then you want to um, put a box back in, when we undo it, the box doesn't come back. So all I did then was I would click, copy it from another blank block, and then right click, paste the block back in. So it kind of it, it's an extra step um, because this formatting of this chart here was done in the Word document. It was not done in a Google Doc. So we'll kind of have to look at that then for maybe next year and actually create this document in a Google Doc because that'll make the formatting a little bit different. Um, and again, also, this is on two separate pages, and there is no way to get this chart that was formatted in a Word document um, higher up onto this document. So it's actually going to be two pages. There's no way to actually even put a text field in here um, because it was reformatted from a, um, a Word document. So if you have any questions regarding that, we'll have to fix that again, um, maybe at the end of this year. So you just kind of go and fill in your information for your student. And then if you would like to save this document, you're going to have to make a copy of it. So the same um, steps that we did to get it off of the share drive, we will be doing that for each additional student. So you'll go to File, make a copy, and then you would do student, whatever the next student is, student one, okay? 
So you will have to do this for each individual student if you want to continue to save their files, or I mean to save the actual file. Um, if you don't make copies and you continue to just delete this out and expect it to save, it will not do that. You will lose your work. So always, um, if you ever had any questions about something, always make a copy of it and then just email me or call me and I can try to walk you through um, any of the issues that you're having. So that is how we work with the progress report that is in a Google document. Um, I'm going to stop the video here and then I'll restart um, on another video to show you how to convert from a Microsoft document to a Word document. I mean to a Google document. Thank you.